We want to go back now to that major new development in the fight against COVID. We are one step closer, finally, to a COVID vaccine for kids under six years old. Moderna is asking the FDA for an emergency use authorization for their two-dose COVID-19 vaccine. And joining us now is Dr. Juan Salazar, physician-in-chief at Connecticut Children's Medical Center. Dr. Salazar, always good to see you. Erin, uh, good to be with you here. So as a mom of a three-year-old, I have know full well that masks are coming off of the adults and our youngest population is still not protected. A lot of us parents are in this boat. What do we know about this vaccine? It's been a long time coming. Yeah, thanks, Erin. Uh, I mean, this is obviously good news. Uh, we, we have to still be cautious. We need to look at the actual hard data. And, uh, you know, I just want to reiterate that this is a process that uh, is the normal process for vaccines. It took a little bit longer than the adults. Why? Because I think we have to be real careful with what we give our kids. And in this case, I think the companies have done a good job of preparing the information, bringing it to the FDA. And Moderna now has asked the FDA to look at their formulation with six months to six years of age. It's going through the process. It's going to go to the FDA. The FDA panel will look at this, will look at the data, look at the safety, look at the immunogenicity, and then make a recommendation and then goes to CDC. Hopefully, hopefully positive, positive news. Uh, so I'm cautious, uh, cautiously optimistic that we will be able to get this through, uh, but we have to look at the hard data, and that's, the, that's what I've always recommended so we can make the right recommendation for parents as we see this through. For sure, without a doubt, that is of the utmost importance in terms of a timeline here. When do you think parents can expect to see it approved? Do we know anything about when this might be issued? Yeah, the normal process will be that, uh, you know, this probably looks very solid. It's going to go to the FDA. The FDA will look at this over the next, you know, hopefully, two, three weeks. Uh, it takes some time. Again, they want to be real careful to make sure that everything is in, in the right order. But once it goes to the FDA, if the ADA, FDA approves it, then it goes to the CDC and the ACIP. And the ACIP then makes a recommendation of what they feel this is, uh, whether this is a vaccine that should be Administer it uh, immediately to children six months to uh, six years of age so that we can actually get your, your three year old protected uh, against uh, the, the COVID-19 virus. The reality is, is that there are many parents out there who still may be hesitant, especially giving a vaccine to their little ones. Uh, studies have been done even showing that many adults who were vaccinated don't uh, don't say that they are going to get their children vaccinated. So what do you do for those people who are watching right now who may be hesitant to put a shot in their little one's arm? Yeah, again, I want to emphasize how careful this process has been. Uh, this is two years and four months into the pandemic. Uh, we've had pediatric data, and, and, and again, it's been carefully monitored. And so this is taking quite a bit of time. Uh, frustrating, frustrating to some parents that want this done immediately. But I think, uh, you know, I want to reassure people that the, because it is, you know, for children, they're extra careful. They're really looking at this in a way that is, uh, you know, with great scrutiny. And the FDA is not going to pass something for children that is not absolutely safe and that is actually effective, that it will be protective for the children. So, uh, you know, from that perspective, I think parents should be reassured that we're doing the right thing at the right time. And once we hear that, then we'll provide additional information for you and we'll let you know this is something that, at least in my opinion, that I would recommend for your child. Well, I think you said it best. We are cautiously optimistic. Much more to come. Dr. Juan Salazar, Connecticut Children's Medical Center. We always appreciate you being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aaron. Take care.